Hello and welcome back to Twisted on Roblox. Hope your day is going well. Because today we're going to be chasing in some more basic vehicles. On an enhanced day where that is actually switching over into a moderate right now. So we'll see how those thermodynamics go. But the vehicles of choice today are going to be this one, this one, and this one. This one still I'm trying to adjust to because it's very odd to me. But we'll go with it. So the first vehicle we're chasing with is this one. I can't wait to chase with the Grizzly again. Even though I feel like I remember last time, which was in 1.20, a long time ago. This thing had a mess of net, so it's going to be very odd not having one this time. But what do you say we get ready to chase, which I think we have one right now. We in fact do. In a very odd location. What are speeds? Oh, 45. Well, that might work. We'll see. If we make it over there, we make it over there in time. And if not, we just don't. Well, I surely didn't expect to look back on radar and see it pink. So I think we're going to head all the way down to Starbuck and maybe tackle it from there. Luckily, this thing does go 125, which is very fast, and I'm not used to it. But I, uh, I'm happy with it. 125 is very, very fast. Okay, this one's heading more down. We may not make it to it in time, but we'll see. I'll push my luck a little. We're down at Starbuck where the siren is still blowing my eardrums out. And it basically has beat us to the road. Just about. But it's also orange. And just to double check it, yes, it is over there. So it's the next road up. Depending on if we hit the wind field before that road decides what I'm going to do. Because I can definitely hear the roar off in the distance. Oh. Well, it ain't quite here. So it's more going down this way. We may get a little lucky intercept here. And judging by its original trajectory, I'm going to do it about right here. Now, I am not going back the way I came by any means. But I may actually take the dirt road because it'll it'll definitely reassure my fact that I'll be able to get out of the way of this one. Oh, 56. OK, so it is getting to the probe and we're getting winds out here. OK, keep on going. Just go. I don't like how it's still climbing. We just gotta keep it floored. Did it shift this way? I think it came more straight down. That might be why it hit us more and is actually still kind of hitting us. Also, sadly, we didn't make anything off of that one. Mm -hmm. Well, then. That's a little sad, but eh, we could deal with it. We got our first storm that we can actually see of the new day. And it, well, it's sort of down in here right now. And one thing I've noticed is they've made it really easy to spot the storms on just reflectivity now. Well, where the rotation is going to begin. So that's kind of interesting. Right up there. 
Now what I want to do is I want to get down and over into this area. Cause that's probably gonna be our be our best option for this one. I don't prefer chasing on dirt roads with this vehicle, but we'll see how that goes. You know what? We do got the base game starter truck. I wonder if it's decent at off-road. So this one goes 55. This one goes 66. You know what? Maybe we get the old free trusty truck to go again. Old trusty. I still feel that they should just remove those springs. They look awful. But eh, whatever. Back to the main point. We have a storm. And it's coming. Uh, where to? I still yet to decide. Kind of up through this area. So I reckon we'll move up that way. I still feel this thing needs a little bit more of a lift. Eh, we'll see how that does later. Okay, I basically lost track of where this thing's going. I think it's mostly coming up through this direction. Yep, yeah, pretty much. more leaning towards this way whatever it is we need to make a plan oh we got another storm okay we are deploying and we are going because this thing is coming don't need to be here right now this is not a good place to be thank goodness for 66 off-road and currently getting 87 on the probes maybe deploying them right then wasn't the best call but yeah that's what we got But I mean, they're still gaining money for now. And not anymore, so 138 per probe. Ain't too awful. Currently yellow strength and gonna look like it's probably gonna go right up to that area. Now it's green. So it's kind of staying around the more lower end on the storm strength. But hey, we've made it above 7,000. That's good. I think my goal for today is possibly 10,000 or more. We'll see how that goes. And probes acquired. I'm starting to think we may not be able to make it by this one. And it's going straight through Viroqua. Also, I mentioned um, it is strengthening as well. So all the things are happening with this one. Can we make it by? 
Oh, this is very risky. I'm seeing very near 80. Okay, this is... Oh. Well, that... That's not good. And it's red-orange. Uh, this is not a good idea whatsoever. Don't do this. You should not be doing this. Why are you still doing this? Turn around. Turn around, don't get yourself killed. Going right up through that area. Uh, what about this other one? Eh, it's kind of going to come through this area as well. So I say what we do is we backtrack, go towards the dirt road, and maybe try and get in front of this one. Dang, where's this thing going? Oh, okay, now it's starting to shift more north. And it's red. Huh. Also very fast moving. 51 mile per hour for today. Okay. Uh, that one may miss Viroqua unless it turns. I don't know what I want to do because I'm in a very tough spot. This one is like yellow, orange, red. And going towards that area where you could get a good intercept. This one coming up through this area. Risky, maybe able to get a good intercept. But at the same time, this one could also die out. There's a lot of sort of risks in this that you gotta think about. Also, might I add, this one's the bigger one, so it'll in turn possibly make you more out of the intercept. But it is also green now. You know what? I think we'll go back through the damage path and maybe risk it on this one. Because this one is starting to sort of widen out. And while we're at it... I think my... I uh, mispronounced something there. We'll go ahead and switch to the Grizzly. Man, this vehicle had, and me have some memories. Of sending it into tornadoes all willy-nilly we don't talk about those times Man, this one's like just really going northwards and we got another what the world well we got a fast car depends on the next uh, movement scan what do we got it's going more north Great. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll shoot up with this one. And, uh, we'll see where that gets us. Laying it risky with this one. Judging by the movement. I say it's coming possibly right to us in this area time to move still don't know how to place probes either at least I have that professionalism going for me oh that one that one died what a surprise And this one's starting to pick up. Oh. Okay, so we're facing down that way. And it's gone. Oh, we may have got pretty close with this one. Oh, oh, okay. No messing nets are kind of messing with me on this one. I didn't notice that. 
We may have actually got a pretty good probe intercept on that one. I'm happy with that. Because I think what it did, it was coming up this way and kind of pulled back sort of to the east. Oh, we got a rotation forming on that one down there. This one's yellow. I say we get our probes and head back down for that one to, and get ready for it. Is this one thinning out? It, it may be roping out. E yep, and it's gone. Well, we made a little bit off of that one. That's a good one. Okay, there you are. And let's head for that other one. We got something going on down in front of us. I think this one recycled. So that means this one possibly could as well. And look at where it's heading. That one's also making a beeline through Viroqua, so... And it looking pretty big. I think I may dash down for that one. Because we do got a decently speedy car. And yes, I know I keep switching vehicles. It's kind of a fun way to do that. There's that one. That one got your, like, typical tornado cone shape. And that one just keeps growing. My gosh. And, of course, it hits Viroqua like that. Jumps to red immediately. <laughs> Wouldn't that be typical? Definitely need to keep an eye on this one, though. There's a very big chance this could be our uh, last intercept with this vehicle. If if I don't play my go, oh, gosh. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. This is the big one. I don't know how we're going to get an intercept on this one. Oh gosh, the debris. I've got a plan, and it's a very interesting one. We hop back up, go down, and hit the dirt road that goes directly into that monster. And that one up there is pink, too. What the world is going on? The Night of the Monsters or something? Like, it's getting absolutely absurd out here. Okay, that one's still following the roadway. We may we may be good. Look at the flipping rotation on this one. We're coming for you. Hey, don't you veer northward. And it's veering northward. Wow. Thank you, Tornado, as soon as I get down here. Well, then what do we do? Because we can't go up there and turn to the north. We're going to have to change our plan again. I'm getting very tired of changing these plans like this. Okay, so it's going that way. If we get up and over, we should be able to deploy and get something out of that. We'll see, though. Did that one... No, that one up there completely died out. And just about the same story with this one. This one just went crazy through Viroqua and 
really started falling off. Okay, so, uh... Okay, let's get turned around. And away we go. Uh, we're gonna... Gonna drop Thal. And as the probes are getting the wind filled, we are... I don't know what we're gonna do. Hundred and four so far. I can kind of see the outline of it. I don't think it's actually really even hit the probes yet. It's actually kind of skimming them, if anything. Went more to the northwest of the probes. Hey, I guess what I'll do is, uh, let the tornado pass the probes and then we pick them up and head through Viroqua and see how that's doing I mean it, it couldn't be more straight through Viroqua either because I mean I think it formed down here somewhere in this area I think it just went like this and then like Bling. and it was most of its strength through this area which is very funny because it's green or yellow right here and then red and pink so a pretty interesting chase as it goes into the night but not too bad we'll see how Viroqua handle it yeah at the probes not bad now let's go see how Viroqua handled the the surprise tornado Okay, heading on into town. There was a tree there that diverted that person. <laughs> oh my. That's a lot of green bars. I want to get the headlights of my car on a house if I can find a spot to do it. Uh, right here. <laughs> okay, well Did some pretty decent damage I also know that a patch was released recently which uh, if y'all Hadn't checked it out. I've been starting to get back into live streaming on the channel and did a little live coverage of the patch that was released for bug fixes and all that and it has definitely improved quite a few things. They're definitely on the right track to getting things figured out. Okay, let's back up again. That house isn't completely destroyed. But, yeah. They fixed quite a few things, added some things, and overall it was a pretty good patch. I really, really liked it. It was a very good one. Like I said that enough. <laughs> There's a tree. If we can make our way around it. I want to go check out the wheel mark because I know they said they fixed some structures not. Oh, hello. Not being destroyed by storms. And the question is, can I remember where the heck it was? I think it was like, oh yeah, somewhere in here. Okay, we're just going to go in right there. Oh. Well, it looks like something's happened. Because normally it definitely doesn't usually get damaged. I can't tell anything that way. Huh. Okay, well, whatever on that. 
it definitely did some damage around here that's for sure now how does the new day look SRH isn't that good but we do got a high day on the horizon but I don't think I'm gonna be on long enough to make it to that one we'll see what I can do I still have a few more things planned for this episode okay I have found a new server gotten into it and I haven't looked at the thermodynamics yet so let's see you know what that ain't too bad 66 mile per hour movement speed so it's gonna be quite ideal for the dominator side of things because of the fast deployment so a good thing we have dominator one today I'm gonna definitely probably be sending it into a tornado that's way too strong for it and then I also plan on if we get a good intercept out of this one Possibly switching into the Dow because I know they've definitely fixed that one through testing but just want to do it on a video because get to have some more fun with that this thing's already come down it just literally became rotation interesting looks pretty good over there too so maybe we'll be able to make it in time if not there's more roads there's always more roads just gotta find them and figure out which one's the right one so it's coming up on this one as we speak uh, towards sort of that area so if we get down in this area in time we might be able to get something out of that But as we do know, they are moving very fast today. So it's going to be part of the challenge. I'm going to predict somewhere up in here. Oh, okay. Well, I go into radar. I can't. I don't. I, I was able to see before. And then I exit radar, and I can't see anything. Okay. We're doing this speedy. Look at how fast that thing's going. Definitely missed a little bit, but... Whoa, it wasn't for lack of trying. Oh my gosh. Okay. I hear you, Mr. Tornado. And why in the heck did you deploy after the tornado went by? Okay. Well. Wait, I need to undeploy first. Also, they changed that to hydraulics. I don't remember that being named that. Okay, as we go, let's get another look at this. Whoa, 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 whoa. It jumped. Hey, hey, hey. This flipping Dominator one trying to fight me for control on the road. Little do you know I'm a professional driver. Not really, not one bit. <laughs> Okay, so we need to get up this road. Uh, the question is where though? Oh, about right up in there. Simple as can be. But will we make it in time to deploy probes? We'll find out. I can already see wind rising. Uh, is that? I think I. That thing is coming! Oh my. Uh oh. Uh, keep going, Dominator. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, go down. We can't risk it any further. One twenty two, one thirty, one forty, one fifty, one sixty. Oh no, not again. Even though I fully expect there goes a truck, there goes two trucks. Even though I fully expected this. Okay. Well, that just happened. That... That was a thing that just happened. Now it is time to go to plan... Uh... C? Because plan A was normal chaser, plan B was interceptor, and plan C is now... The Dow! So let me go ahead and get the dish rotating. Oh, wait. I forgot. You can actually already scan without having to be deployed or running. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nah, that was like 135. So that's... I'm going to estimate probably around the 140 range on this thing. Wow. And we got another one coming. Dang, that, that was a uh, that was quite crazy. And the Dow ain't even running yet. Okay, let's go ahead and get the strobes on cuz probably my new favorite feature of this vehicle. <laughs> and the fact that every scan ain't getting blocked anymore by the tornado itself glad they finally got that fixed so let's go and get actually I think we can technically scan from this distance let's go and check it out now I've also looked into it the angle depends on sort of the wind speed you can get so if I have it down kind of almost all the way, I think it is all the way. No, it was almost. So it ain't scanning that way. You have to kind of be a little bit above the fully deployed on the dish. And that'll be the highest wind speed you get. Judging by what I've experienced with this vehicle. Also, this one is dropping off a lot but that could be because it is getting very far away from us and I don't feel that we're gonna be able to catch it too well but I'll give it a go well by the time I got up here it's pretty much out of scan range or it's just very low it's just so fast moving that it's really hard to keep up with so what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably go way that way and drop down on this new one. Also because I want to test my theory of it. Hello. Of it being uh, this sort of wind gust thing stat being related to why is everybody like parked majorly down here? <laughs> and what are you doing? But the straight line winds being what this is tied into, which I think it is. Y'all are probably telling me that, yeah, it's tied to that, or no, it's not. But if you know me and my history of doing things, I'm a really experimental type person. And like to try and figure it out on my own. So that's what I'm doing. Once I figure it out. Now, where are the straight line winds in this one? I think it's probably around this area. No, that's going to be probably about back over there. Okay. But we need to drop down the Funkley Road. Okay, my main question now is will I be able to get a scan from here? I actually can. That's a big surprise. And it's kind of coming up through this way, so I'll be able to get some pretty decent scans on it. 
if it doesn't die before it gets to us. 64. Sixty-two is definitely going down. Sixty-two again. And fifty-seven. Good gosh. Also, we made it over ten thousand gold, which is a very good thing. Sixty-one, fifty-nine. Trying to make up his mind. It's moving very fast now, which is kind of leading me to suspect it's about to lift. Usually when they speed up very fast like this. My like, good gosh, look at how fast that thing's moving. 55. It's shrinking, roping out very fast. And it's gone. Okay, now what do you say we don't focus on the tornado on this and I want to find the straight line winds. We found the most elusive person out in the middle of a field without a vehicle too. Also, by the way, other than the trees falling down randomly in front of us, this area, this area right here has got a very distinct history with me. Because for one, right here was my first episode. Spawned in there, headed up this way. Got confused because I didn't know what I was looking for. <laughs> didn't know what markers meant back then. Kind of laugh at myself because of that. Because it's kind of funny. But I went into the radar like right up here. And I was like, eh, where's the storm? It looks like it's over here. Come out of radar and next thing you know. I'm in the tornado and it goes over me. <laughs> ah, memories. They're a fun thing to have. Well, Verroque was about to get nailed again. That's going to be interesting. I'm still just trying to find the straight line winds area. I'm not too smart when it comes to this side of thing. I'm just basically assuming. In the middle of the red, it's very weak. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it's more down around the hell core is where you're gonna find the major winds. Other than a tornado. So, yeah, we'll head on down that way, maybe pop in some scans on this thing. See what that thing's up to. As we come in down here, I do see somewhat of a steady wind rise. Which will probably be because of this. Okay, that was bright. But we got a giant tornado down here, which was pink. But not so much anymore. So what I'm going to do is probably park up right here. If I had brakes. Oh, I think I saw 115. hundred and eleven. Okay. I'm gonna change back to that. Maybe back. Back again. 103. You know what? Not too bad. But I do. I do want to move. Please let me move. Thank you. Never mind. I want to sort of head back this way. 
and check out if this is the straight line winds down here. Because if I'm going off of this, it's probably up through here. Well, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Okay, there we go. Off moving again. I'm kind of staying in behind it. Not too sure if this is what I'm looking for, though. Yeah, well, it is rising a little bit now. Yeah, I don't think it's what I was looking for. So I think I'm going to end it off here. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was a blast. Got to check out some new builds. Well, customization and well, yeah. Customization, not Z, however I said it. That went to crap real fast. <laughs> but adios, everybody. And I'll catch you all in the next one hey the wind's rising again 26 that time interesting must be out here <laughs>